crew outside and paint it with this spray so the edges they will be golden this is my little backyard let's go I'm not trying to squeeze it too tight so that it will go deeper into the pages. We do want to paint inside of these holes and these white edges also. So you're doing it from different angles. That's it. Now I will let it dry. Also you can use any other color of course. Just make sure that your paint will let your pages move nice and finally the fun part I will cover it with jeans here I will use again a thinner glue depending on the fabric that you're using you want to be careful uh, with this area you have to make sure that there is enough of glue and yet it's not too wet so it won't be visible when it's dry you can see that this area is quite wet nice and slowly I will start giving it this shape I'm still using this plastic because I'm not sure if uh, the golden paint is dry yet just in case now I will let it dry first and then I will continue something like this because still I, ha I have to have here at least something to, to, to fold and cover this area you will see later and again here maybe it's better just to do it like this Mm-hmm. And here almost next to the corner. Just a couple of millimeters here so that I can cover it like this. I will need my plastic again and I will trim this piece a little bit. That's it. Mm -hmm. And again, we want to to pull this like tight, really tight. cover the very corners 
and then we add some glue here again and like that Now it's up to you either trim this extra fabric that you have. Maybe you don't have any. I still do. So I will trim it. You see I have this sort of gap but it's very helpful. Here you can pull all these fabrics and with this amazing tool you make it nice and flat and very neat it's a really nice corner here and this will be covered with paper and the same on this side beautiful corner so. again from the sides nice and tight again corners first and then this and again make them nice and flat this area is also not too difficult all you have to do is to trim these pieces like really short about three millimeters i'd say you add some glue and now you hide this fabric here you have to you have to push it uh, you have to push this white fabric that we have underneath and then you try to make this surface even I think you can see Maybe a bit more, maybe like five millimeters. Again, it all depends on the thickness of your fabric. Now it's better to let it dry because these areas, well, you will open it quite often the sides and we don't want it to be shabby in two weeks and meanwhile I will prepare uh, closures I prepared four of these to decorate these areas and I will make uh, closures with the same fabric this is also jeans Today I'll be using these closures, these are magnets, but these plates are too, too wide. Mm -hmm. Better. So the plan is to put it inside and make some nice stitches around it and that's it not pink 
my green. I'm running out of my favorite colors. Have to buy some more. Maybe this. Mm -hmm. I have to start somewhere here, not too far. Otherwise, it gets too thick. Somewhere here. And I will be making my favorite stitches. Just like this, and you go inside of this loop. That's it. I used to hate dealing with the corners. Well, I don't anymore. I'll show you in a second. So we find this place where there will be the last stitch on this side and that will make a nice corner. Now we're using the same spot. And we're placing the thread on the very corner like this. course it will not stay there unless you force it and also I will add some stitches here so that it will look like this square my closures are ready they look like this I added some glue here to make sure that there won't be any threads coming out of here. And this is what I got. Again, I did not fix any threads. They're not going anywhere. They're thick and the fabrics are thick. So it's fine. I can leave them like this and then I will hide them when I attach them to the cover. Also, I prepared four pieces of cardstock. This one is quite thin. This is when you can recycle something. Uh, the size is, I don't know, a bit less than the size of this part of the cover. In my case, it's um, 13 by uh, eight and a half centimeters and also I prepared this pieces of black cotton and again I love using some leftovers I trimmed these fabric edges and they are fluffy are they fluffy Anyway, shabby, fluffy, whatever, you can see this. So I'm going to use it like that and I will embellish it with some beading or embroidery. I'm not sure yet, just something like this. And here I will trim this corner.
and now I'm thinking whether I want it like this or maybe it's better to add some blue jeans and then I will have to and then I have to make this blue too I know what I do I will finish this I will make one square a uh, rectangle like complete and then if I like it then I will make three more another treasure chest of mine oh it's empty I think they should be golden so that they will play nicely with our leaves this color mm -hmm. or maybe or maybe this it's a bit darker and yummier just to compare I will see how the colors work Mm -hmm. I like it when it's more calm, like this. Even though this one is looks more similar to to these golden edges. Now I will make this corner. So one thread goes down and the other one goes to the side and the golden one yeah. you see what's happening and i come very next to the previous one and now I will pick some old movie and meditate. I have to say that I really do like the result and yes, I'll go for it and I will continue making more of this. Here I had not enough space to fit both of these and I just put one on top of the other one so I'm not really worried if something doesn't go really smooth I feel that these areas are too wide uh, so I decided to add some stitching again it will be contrast I think they will be dark blue I think it will be enough to make it a bit less bright just as simple as this and I decided to add some silk this side will be blue and that side I will see Just a bit to keep it in place. This is what I have as a result, and well, it's approved by me. Anyway, I'm not gluing this card uh, until I'm done with the rest of them, so I will have a chance to add something if I want. That's it. Here I have four pieces to embellish this cover and I have closures and in a few minutes I will accomplish this project. I want to 
trim these fabrics a bit. Let me show you. The one that will be attached to the cover is longer, the other one is smaller so that it will be smoother because it's quite fat here so basically what we're doing we're making it look good close it from both sides and then we apply some nice thick glue You will have to deal with this area anyway, so don't you try to do it at once. It will just take your time and will make some mess. And I close it. And the same here. Just as deep as you can. As long as it looks nice. And just in case I will open it to see if I have to put some plastic here but not really it's quite clean. So I will just leave it like this and here and here is the same make sure that your closures are facing the same direction while these are drying i can actually glue this on. just so you know i did not invent this I did see this book, it was a medieval book in some, I think it was Norwegian museum, I'm not sure. Well, it was an old book with this beautiful uh, copper, I think, uh, closures. And of course it was a manuscript, it was extremely beautiful and it came from, I think it was 15th century. And I tried to find this book binding technique and I didn't find one so I had to think about it and, and do it myself. And I did it. I think it looks great to be honest. And all I have to do now is to add some more glue here. Just in case I'm using this tool. Because I don't want to hold it all the time. I don't want to use any clips so that I won't damage this area and won't leave any marks. And I will continue with the rest of these pieces. I chose this paper to make leaflets and I will stain them a bit with gold uh, because these edges they can be sort of visible just a little bit I must say that now it, it looks really really cool I did guess with this uh, with this paper it really fits 
when you're making your leaflets, depending on what's happening underneath, you might want to use uh, thick or thin glue. In my case, I want to use thin glue because I wanted um, to make my paper a bit damp so that I can form these areas. At this point, you might see some little things you would like to fix. I'm happy to say that this is it. This is my beautiful six fold notebook. And if you were making one with me, then congratulations. You have your own notebook that has this medieval book binding. And I'm sure that you or the one get it as a gift from you will be really happy to feel these pages with the warmest memories. Thank you guys for your kindest attention. Please stay safe, healthy and creative.